sold almost everything. <laughs> so everything is already basically. Almost everything is sold. Sold. So the big, the, no one can buy what's here. It's already. Yeah. Well, they, basically I, well there's a couple paintings. I did one on Shangri La recently that's not for, that is, is available for sale. And I did another one called Hide and Seek over there. Um, this current painting is sold that I've done. The highlight of my life was having a book written by Richard Love in Chicago. Richard Love sells parent paintings for a million dollars. And when he showcased my work in 1984 and wrote a book on me, it was the highlight of my life in terms of my career. And, um, and since then, I've managed to sell all my paintings out of my house. And, uh, you have your paintings um, and in, in, in various uh, galleries, too. Well, currently I don't because I have none to sell. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> buys them out of my house. <laughs> yeah, I'm really fortunate. I mean, I do work that I like. I managed to sell my work. I think I kind of miss being in Chicago right now and showing at uh, some of the prominent galleries. But um, I, uh, you have to not sell in order to accumulate the paintings. So this is a uh, puzzle here too, right? Par That's one Paradise of the 37. Redeemed. That's one of the 37. A couple of years ago uh, in England, the Wentworth Company published my work internationally as wooden jigsaw puzzles. That was very nice. It only lasted a couple of years, but it was nice while it lasted. We're looking right now at the wood grain of this. That you Obviously, it's paint. It's not wood grain. Yes. And in fact, you might want to come over here and get the print. It's pretty amazing. Get a picture of the print. <laughs> All right. You see it better over here on this print. Let's go over the print. I'm going to turn this light off so you don't have any reflection. Ah. See? Go right up to that one. In my show in Chicago, I wanted to have a painting that was going to be not look like a painting, look like a wood sculpture on a major theme like paradise. And that probably is my favorite painting of the 250 paintings I've done. Generally speaking, I don't, I don't like to have favorites. I like to have things that I prefer over other things. But I have to honestly say this is probably my favorite painting of all the ones I've ever done. And you're very modest about the, uh, the uh, composition of your paintings. But uh, uh, as you can see, there is a lot of thought goes into the composition. This There's painting is, this is just a print, of course. The painting is probably as big as up to the edge of the frame. A little bit bigger. And it was nice to have Richard Love showcase this in the book on me in 1984. Well, you're certainly uh, not without accolades. Lots and lots. Uh, not to mention the fact that you're also a, a concert pianist of some repute. So, we're uh, we're closing here, Larry. So, would you just want to... Just, just a couple, yeah. couple close-ups on just a couple of random pictures of the puzzles. This has been a real popular one just called Butterflies. It has dewdrops in it and that kind of thing. And in the series of puzzles that are available, I think there's about three of these butterfly ones. Some of the puzzles range from esoteric biblical paintings to just butterflies, and some are just about Alice in Wonderland and that kind of thing. This painting is called In the End. You know, the Bible says in the beginning, so I decided to do a painting called In the End, because we're all dying to know how it all plays out. <laughs> or some people think they've got all the, <laughs> the answers already. Maybe they do. <laughs> anyway, my answer to what's going to happen in the end is an earthly paradise, and actually things might actually be okay in the end. I hope that's true. Well, that's for, the, for the few people that might end up there. <laughs> All right, and Larry, again, the um, the name of the puzzle maker. And this is just one more. Let's get this one on. This one is a this one's called the puzzle piece, which is the one that I was painting in the TV pro little blurb that we had on Channel Twenty Seven News. This was the one I was actually painting on that program, 
and so it's nice to actually see it once uh, uh, published. It's called the puzzle piece, and it had to do with the whole notion that we uh, wonder what life means. It's like a puzzle piece, and here and again I indicate that paradise is the a final puzzle piece that will answer all our problems. So this is peacetime puzzles in New Hampshire. And, of course, if you want to see my puzzles, you have to hit peacetime puzzles, but then you have to put Larry Elliott afterwards because she sells actually 600 puzzles at this company. And one puzzle she sells has 18,000 pieces. <laughs> it's a picture of New York City. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's 9 feet by 6 feet, and it's only $150. But I'd rather you buy mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. So, yep, yeah. so, the artist, the artist, the puzzle artist commercial. piece. Now and these are just, the, is, is, I think we showed four or five of the 37. But uh, she showcases them very nicely on that website. And both companies actually do. But for $9, you know. Well, thank you, Larry. And we're signing off. Is that it?